Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, we're going to cover how to manage virtual machines in RHEL 8 from the cockpit web-based interface. Previous versions of RHEL used the Vert Manager for managing virtual machines. However, in RHEL 8, Vert Manager has been deprecated, and Cockpit is intended to become its replacement in a subsequent release. Cockpit is installed by default on most RHEL 8 installations unless you do a minimal installation. I'm going to enable Cockpit with the systemctl enable-now cockpit.socket command. Once that's been enabled, we're going to install a couple of other packages. We'll need to get the cockpit-machines package to be able to manage virtual machines from within Cockpit. So we'll go ahead and install that. And then once this is installed, we will also need to install the vert-viewer package. This will um, allow us to pull up a console um, on the virtual machines from within Cockpit. We'll go ahead and switch back to a uh, web browser here and we'll go ahead and type in the host name for the server which is rel8beta.example.com and we'll connect to cockpit on port 9090. By default this uses a self-signed certificate so we'll go ahead and accept that certificate and then we will log in as a root user. Of course you could also log in with a regular user if they have uh, sudo privileges. We'll go down to the virtual machines uh, option here. If you don't see virtual machines within cockpit make sure you have that cockpit machines package installed. We'll go ahead and click on create VM. The name of this VM will be Fedora. For the installation source we'll type uh, the path to the ISO image for Fedora 29. OS vendor we will set to Fedora project and operating system will be Fedora 29. We'll increase the memory to 2 gigabytes and click immediately start VM and then go ahead and click create. All right, from this point, we'll uh, go ahead and select Start Fedora 29, and then we will go back over to the Overview tab. From here, we can see basic information about the VM, like memory, CPUs, um, etc. From Usage, we can see memory and CPU information. From the Disk tab, we can see what disks are allocated, and we have an option to add an additional disk if needed. From the Networks tab, we can see the network adapters. And if we click Edit here, we can see the settings for that network adapter. And then back on the console, we can either use this uh, viewer or we can click on Graphics Console and Desktop Viewer and Launch Remote Viewer. And this will open it in a separate window. So I hope you found this video helpful. And I hope you get a chance to try out um, using Cockpit to manage virtual machines in Rel8. Thanks for watching the video. And I hope you have a great day today.